how does an artist get a show like this at a big museum? And I always think it's political, who you know. I mean, how, how do you get your work to be seen? I think part of it, from my understanding, is that um, you, uh, you have to, there's a bit of luck in it as well as the ability, of course. But, it's, it's curators that go around finding people that they think are an advantage for their future and for the future of art as well. So it's a sort of combination of things, I think, uh, that uh, get you into that position. Uh, which is fine. It's the way it is. And it is the art, the art future, obviously, is about the younger, younger people that can go forwards and develop and become, you know, develop their work and become household names or whatever. Yeah. It's good. I'm sorry to interrupt. Can you please put your bag to your front? On the front? It helps to protect the... That's the one. Oh, no, it helps to protect the artwork. Yeah. So yours is on the side. Yep, but it's not on my back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you for helping us. Right, thank, thank you. you. Good to know. Yeah, I... I, I, I... <laughs> Wait, but no, I'm just... <laughs> Hold on, it's got to be... There you go. Okay, now okay? you're good. I'm, I'm now you're good. Right now. It is yeah. a piece, a piece of art, this is, by the way. You probably haven't noticed. It's called bagism. <laughs> <laughs> it's not expensive to make as well, isn't it? It's quite good. I'm pretty tired. I feel like I need to hop in there. <laughs> it's all that blood you've lost. Yeah, all the, all the blood. Oh, I interviewed him. That's the actor Jace Bartok. He's a great actor. I interviewed him 15 years ago. Huh. What's he doing here? He, he's a lot slimmer. Huh. I envision if you had this room, you know, big version of your hat, just right there. Big version. There's a place in, um, not Hatfield, there's a place in, in England uh, where they're famous, Luton, they're famous for uh, producing hats. And uh, I've been approaching them to see what sort of hat we can make between us. I like the idea of a very large hat. It's, it's, it's in my mind, so to speak, or under my hair. <laughs> but yes, definitely. Yes. I think hats are going to make a big comeback idea. You know, you can get photographs in the past of baseball games or soccer games or American football games where if you look at the crowd, they're all wearing a hat. All of them are wearing a hat in the past. When if you were seen without your hat, you were nobody. So I've got, I've got a feeling it's hats are coming back big time. Maybe even an AR hat? an AR hat like I'm, I'm, I'm not really wearing a hat but it's digitally here oh wow you mean like a toupee hat that you can't see <laughs> a toupee hat sort of sort of like that yeah, yeah it's possible an AR hat yeah I understand what you're saying I thought it was a specific physical item but it's it's not. I know, I'm, I know you're coming from that. Yeah. Nike, Nike is coming out with like digital shoes so you can look through on the phone or a VR headset and like there will be a shoe here, like a cool shoe. You could do hats with them. Well, I like that. Yeah, yeah, I like that idea a lot actually of having uh, something that's not there unless you have something that right. sets it. That's a nice idea. So do you have any tips for people wanting to become an artist? Well, as, as I said the other day, the thing is about you know, either art finds you and you become the artist, or what happens is that you discover art as such and it changes you through looking at other artists' work as such. But um, tips to be an artist, well, be as open as you can, be as creative as you can. And the door to imagination is marked push. That's, 
such. But uh, I think for me, also be as experimental as possible to start with. You know, don't get ground down with a sort of with the gallery system or whatever. Try and be as open and experimental, and find ways to. F the, the main thing about art, I think, is finding yourself. It's um, it's Siddhartha in a sense. It's about actually finding yourself, and I think the best artists find themselves within the subject of art. That's what I think.